Now, I know it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek, right? and I can't stop laughing myself, even in the demos, when I help these little, these little miniatures. I call them miniatures. There's all different sorts, isn't there? But I call them miniatures. But um, there is also a little bit of seriousness, um, you know, as well as the fun side of these videos. Because, you know, there are a lot of people that do get really especially kids get seriously bitten and i mean they kick so hard these little miniatures now what i can tell you is that my groundwork i don't do any i don't treat a little tiny miniature uh any different to a big horse the groundwork is exactly the same they respond exactly the same i get respect for my space i get uh the language down to all, to their little feet same thing, there's no different. When you watch the groundwork that I do in this session, you're gonna see now, it's no different. It's exactly the same. It's just that I'm looking down rather than kind of up. Um, so yeah, it, it's basically getting down to those feet and um, being as gentle as I can be, but as firm as necessary to make a change that's necessary. Um, one of the biggest problems I can actually tell you without a doubt, one of the biggest problems with these miniatures is excessive hand feeding. It's something the kids do, the mums, the dads do. I see it all the time. It's what we do for our own our own reasons um, and our own good feeling. We allow these little miniatures to come into our space and constantly take treats from us. It really has a negative effect. And that's where a lot of it comes to because you're actually teaching these little 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 miniatures disrespect you teach them to be disrespectful and take our feed which is not not something that they 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 do in their own uh, um you know their own herds they won't come into a alpha space and take the feed so if you constantly do it it's uh, i remember you know many years ago uh, when i used to go to some of the greats to learn from and um you know i often heard when somebody was tip bit in a horse uh, that, that that great horseman would say why are you abusing your horse and then it you know it really make you think then well what, what does it and then they'd explain it's 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 borderline abuse to give lots of treats because in the long run it's going to cause that horse to be disrespectful you teach them to be disrespectful and then someone has to put it right and then it, it, it's just it's just not good it's especially um you know, excessively doing it. And if you have got to do it for your own reasons, make sure you step them, but don't do it excessively. But if you need to give um, your, your, your little, well, any horse, uh, a carrot or something, make, you know, put it behind your back and make them step back a few paces, then give it them and make sure they don't move in on you then. Now, if you get this right, if you get good training, good foundation on these little miniatures, they can be, like the best of horses. Like, you you know, you see my horses, how, you know, how great we get along with them, how they're so chilled out about things and responsive at the same time. A little miniature will be exactly that with the right groundwork, the right training, um, <clears throat> the right attitude. Everything is there to be had for, from any size horse, no matter how miniature they are. So that's one thing I can tell you, if you get it right, you have a great little partner and one that's a lot safer for children. Uh, now, this video, guys, I'll, I'll, I'll play it now. The first few clips are of some miniatures um, that I only spent a few minutes. I dug a couple of little clips out. A few miniatures I've helped, um, <clears throat> you know, just showing a little bit of before and after, only seconds. And one of them, I think, was a wild, a very wild mountain one that um, couldn't be touched. Um, and that, I'll put a clip of that one as well. And then it'll run into then a little 18 month old uh, colt uh, stallion, um, you know, it hadn't been cut and it become, it was on a, it was on a 
collision course to really hurt someone. And we had it in the demo and you'll see unedited how I go about trying to gentle and, you know, give this little, this little cult different idea about what you should be thinking around humans. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this and I'll get cracking on it. Oh, um, just watch for it. <laughs> <laughs> one that yeah. So this is the uh, so one, one foot too much, so I've just backed her little feet off there. Yeah. See how I looked at her feet? Yeah. Is this the most difficult she feet? I started trying to get away, she puts her pins her ears back. Pins her ears, back pins her ears yeah. yeah. And yeah. you said be careful. Now that was a foot forward, so I'm going to just ask for that foot back. Back her up a little bit. Good girl. Yeah. And then. Good. But if you didn't like it, then but that's it. So you felt like Do it. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. doing so it now. So there has that's to be. Back her up a little bit. Good girl. Yeah. With this now, until she. So stop. Back up three pace. One, two, three. Go, little babies. <laughs> up a little bit. Now it's gone. It was, right. So, okay, I've got this foot then. Is that better than usual? Yeah. How much better? A <laughs> times better. And then she's not going to get rid of this until she stops. <laughs> so as much as you want. That doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. Right. There you go. Right, so I'm going with her here. I can go down. Oh, she searched a bit there. Yeah. So she's searching, isn't she? Yeah. I've got, I'm not using the rope now. Go forward. Lunge. Disengage. Stand still. Yes, we are. Now, he's experimented there. So the fact that he's coming again, I'm going to just take a cue. Uh, no, no, what I did, I thought it was better that I did it without anyone here because if too many people were here, he's really susceptible to, to people with eyes on him. He would feel that. That's what they do. They're so good at looking at expressions and anticipation and all that. Oh God. No, it God, he's scared. Frightened to death. Pick it up. When I'm down here, softer. Do you think so? Oh. Don't lose it. Oh, it makes me. Yeah, it makes me as well. <laughs> Hello, mate. Look where he is. <laughs> huh? Not a new friend. Hmm? Taking him home. <laughs> <laughs> So here's the session about to start, guys. I uh, hadn't seen this little critter before, so it's all fresh, and I don't think it's going to be edit edited at all. It's just a, a very short session, actually, I did. It was the last one of the day. Uh, this, obviously, in we've got better recording equipment now. Uh, this was a little while ago, so you will... If it, it will sound a little bit muffled, but you'll be able to hear most of it, and you'll be able to see exactly what I do. What I would like you to know, guys, this little fella... He was um, well known at this yard and he was on a course to, to, to hurt somebody. He had no respect for anybody, would bite, would kick really hard, sidewards kick and double barrel backwards. So he was in trouble. So that's why we agreed to, um, you know, because there's so many of these little ones about that have got problems. So just remember that when I'm working with <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. 
you're a dude. And yeah, a dude. And you go, oh. See, I'm rewarding the slides. It's good, you know. Uh, now, I, oh, that was me. Can you back on it? Oh, yes, yeah, you can. What would you be like? Are you all right? Huh? This is weird for us. A horse where the hand is a bit more. That's really weird. I think it's weird. So. Guys, Tanya's just asked me to quickly mention our first demo of the year. We're only doing, I think it's three in the UK this year, different parts of the country. And it's Saturday, the 16th of March. Message Tanya. It's at, that's in Essex. Um, so yeah, if you were uh, message Tanya, there's a few um, seats left uh, and it is indoor guys. So it's a lovely place to go. It should be a great demo. Uh, get back to the video. in that in that little mini chair in that very short session is very evident there more than i even realized 
Um, and he, he was only added on at the end because he was so difficult. Um, and he was on a course, honestly, guys, you know, kicking and biting people. And, um, you know, he's only going to get stronger uh, and cause problems. So um, I will say he was added on. That was only a short session I had. And I, I short tracked so much there. And I always try to say to people, you know, if I've got the luxury of time, like being at, at my place, I would have done that over a course of a week, two weeks. It would have all been very, very much more slower. Um, you know, obviously I would have got respect to space very quickly because of, uh, of the safety aspect. But don't get thinking you guys can do that that quickly. You know, um, it's all of the horses I've worked. I can shortcut. Is shortcutting as good a job as not shortcutting? Absolutely not. If you've got the luxury of time and you can, you know, maybe get a certain thing one day, a certain thing the next day, it's more meaningful. And obviously, I will wear off pretty quickly on on that on that little miniature there. I, you know, a few days, and he will revert back pretty quickly if the handlers. Don't. I think they do much better with that little pony now, to be honest, from what I heard. But, um, yeah, you know, you, you, I will wear off. It would be much more meaningful if it was done at a slower pace and a more, you know, more quality and grace to it. I had minutes there to try and help that little pony. And, you know, you could see there the difference. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy. It's all a bit tongue in cheek, this one, but there is a little bit of a you know, twist to it to try and help people. So guys, happy trails to you. Um, I'm off, well, oh my life. I've just looked outside now because I've arranged to go riding with Charlotte today because it's a, it's a Saturday and it's raining again. Oh gosh. Uh, anyway, uh, okay guys, see you soon. Oh, and don't forget to like and comment if you can. And don't forget our subscription sites. They are really good guys. Really proud of them. Okay, see you guys.